Hey, uh, welcome to another tutorial from uh, WordPress Page Builders Academy. Uh, we have an extensive library of tutorials for uh, all the top WordPress page builders. So be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you, you see them when they come out. Okay, now on to today's tutorial. Hey everyone, in this Burt's Builders tutorial, I'll show you how to use uh, Burt's Builders Query Loop feature to display your blog posts in a pop-up. This guide will walk you through the steps to design a query loop that dynamically pulls your blog posts and a pop-up that appears based on uh, certain user interactions that you specify. There are many ways to uh, use dynamic data in your pop-up, but in our tutorial, what we're going to be doing is creating a pop-up that shows a blog post in its entirety. Every time a user clicks on a future image, um, However, the use case for dynamic data is huge with the uh, Bricks Builder. And this tutorial only scratches the surface of what you can do with dynamic data inside of Bricks Loader. In the future, we'll have more videos of uh, different use cases for using dynamic data or displaying dynamic data inside Bricks. Um, but whatever you want to do with dynamic data, this tutorial provides just a basic overview of how to go about doing it. Anyway, let's get started. First, go to the page to create a loop. I'll edit the existing one. Um, click Edit with Bricks. Then add a container inside the section and add the block inside the container. This block will be used to create out a loop. In the block, Add elements such as an image, heading, and text. For the image, heading, and text, uh, set them to pull dynamic data so that the information appears on the front end. After that, you can limit the number of words you want to appear in the exit. Max, set the display of the container to grid and adjust the column gap and row gap. Hey, we've got a quick favor to ask. If you've made it this far into that tutorial, please smash that like button. It will really help out this channel and these tutorials. Okay, now back to the actual tutorial. Thank you. Also configure the grid template columns. Now let's go to the Bricks Booter dashboard and create a new template for your pop-up, or you could edit an existing one. Design the pop-up layout with uh, placeholders for your dynamic content, which is your blog post. Inside a section, add a container for the placement of the elements you want to add, and each element set the dynamic data. Uh, after that, click Save, of course. Then go back to the page Set the cursor to pointer so that when the cursor points to the container, the pop-up will automatically appear. Afterwards, set the iteration for the block. Set the trigger, choosing where it's on scroll, mouse leave, or click. Next, configure the action, set the target to the pop-up, and choose the pop-up you created earlier. Next, add a template element and select what template you want to appear in the preview. Lastly, go back to the pop-up, go to the conditions and set it to appear across the entire website. When you're done, click save and preview your page to ensure everything is working correctly. This is especially important if uh, you have a lot of users on mobile, you have to check uh, how your site looks and functions uh, on mobile also. And there you have it. You've successfully used Query Loop to uh, dynamically show your blog posts in a pop-up using Bridgebooger. Okay, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, if you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And uh, these videos take a lot of time, so if you do appreciate the content, uh, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so we can reach more people. Uh, thank you. And if you have any comments or questions, leave it in the section below, and we will get to them as soon as we can. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye.